Singapore's ruling People's Action Party has unveiled the initial slate of its 26 new potential candidates for the coming general election. The party says it will introduce them all by Friday. Virtually today. Very interesting and diverse. That's how First Assistant Secretary General Heng Sui Kiet described the People's Action Party's first batch of new potential candidates. Among them, co founder of Timber Group Edward Chia, who said he hopes to be an effective voice for small and medium sized enterprises. The 36 year old entrepreneur said he could empathize with the immense challenges faced by SMEs due to the pandemic, which include high rental and a lack of manpower. Singaporeans have also lost jobs. So you may then ask why am I not hunkering down in my business and instead standing to be a member of parliament. So you see, I've always believed that for individuals and businesses to succeed, society must first be successful. And for a Singapore company like us to do well, Singapore must first be well. 50-year-old Desmond Tan, who was formerly the People's Association's chief executive, said he was deeply involved in helping those affected by the pandemic, including in areas like distributing supplies and helping those who need temporary relief. If elected, the father of three hopes to be the voice of the people, speaking up for youth and children, especially those from disadvantaged families. Mr Tan had earlier also spent 28 years in the Singapore Armed Forces. We're now in the deepest crisis in our foreign nation, and these core values connected deeply with me even until today, that we have to take nothing for granted and constantly look out for each other. And these beliefs is why I continue my public service for over 30 years, either with my fellow soldiers to keep Singapore safe or working with the community to care for one another. And this is also the reason why I enter politics, to do my part to shape a society that we truly want. 30-year-old Nadia Ahmad Samdin is the youngest among the new faces that have been introduced by the PAP. The lawyer and former journalist has served the community for the past 15 years. She says COVID-19 has made clear why it's important to adopt technology and hopes to work with Singaporeans to ensure they emerge stronger. The economic and social challenges um, caused by COVID-19 are really unprecedented. But more than that, what is also really important is how we react to this rate of change um, mentally and emotionally. But I'm confident in my generation and I hope to be a voice for my generation. We value sustainability and not just sustainability in the traditional sense, but also thinking about sustainable economic growth that is equitable first and foremost, while preserving the environment and upholding the values of Singapore. 42-year-old Ivan Lim is a general manager with Keppel Offshore and Marine and has been volunteering in the Henderson-Dawson area over the past year. The father of four said the recent circuit breaker has made him want to improve communication among those he serves. Say in future, there's another crisis where we cannot meet our people face to face. So we have already started on the ground very quickly during the circuit breaker to form uh, small communication channels with uh, small blocks of people, small groups, interest group, uh, and then at precinct level. So that's one of the things that uh, we will quickly have to make adjustment on the ground to make sure that our lines of communication remains open, which is very very critical. On top of having a small group of people reaching out to elderly residents, Mr Lim said he is using messaging platforms to keep in touch.